Hello everyone and welcome back to Comstone Farm here for episode 28 I think. And for the first time in a while this ain't an actual live stream so we got a few things to do today. Mine's gone up, that is because we sold the manure and soy spreader off camera. Also again we recently bought this massive version baiter. However what I'm going to do is sell it because there is an update to the Crone and class baiter with the wind rower. And if we have a look under tools, go down to baiters. It is now called the lizard, well, not lizard, sorry, the big baiter 1290 HC and lizard R90. And I was thinking, oh, what could we use? And I think we've got a case tractor, so let's go with this. So we sold our square baiter. We've got a few different options. We'll keep it red, I think. Have case decals. And of course, we've got to have chonky BKT tires. And we're going to buy that. And actually, speaking of mowers and that, if we hop into our other case here. That's we've got a lot of money. I mean, money is not going to be an issue for us now. I think we're at this point of comes where. Money is definitely not an issue. And in terms of our crops and that, just so if I little recap for you folks. Obviously we did try to fertilize spread this field here, field five. However, that was a mistake because if you look at the levels here, it's like two hundred supposed to be one sixty and two hundred kilograms per hectare. And uh, for most crop, that ain't going to be good. So, my thinking is, I want this field, funnily enough, to be a sugar cane field. I want to do a massive sugar cane harvest. However, they require 160 to 180 kilograms per hectare, depending on the soil type. And since our field is mostly loam and silty clay, that is actually quite good for us. For the bit that's sandy though, what is the pH levels of that? Oh, it's still quite low, so we can get away with that. So, to be I think we could just go ahead and plant sugarcane. Not the uh, fries ain't going to be perfect across everything, but for the most part, it should be fine because the big chunks is 160 kilograms per hectare, and that is, yeah, salty clay. So, and um, if I have a look. In my notes here for sugarcane, for silty clay, sugarcane requires where did I found it to? There we go. For silty clay, they require 180 kilograms per hectare, and for loam, they require 200 kilograms per hectare. So, so actually, I think we actually get away with it. it should be close to perfect if not perfect once all said and done. I think we sold it the manure spray now because we bought initially just to have a bit of fun in that, you know, just with the live streams and that. Obviously we weren't making much progress to be honest and this series ain't ending. It's been a while since I've done a proper let's face episode on this. And yeah we've still got many many more episodes ahead of us I think because I want to do Poplars, I want to do trees, I want to do sugarcane. So I think we've got easily another 10 episodes in this, I think, before. Well, I'll say, yeah, 5 10 episodes before we can come on to a healthy, natural conclusion. Obviously, we've got a great vineyard as well, and olives, they're going to be ready tomorrow. Actually, I think we have a look here. Yeah, olives are going to be ready tomorrow by the looks of it. And the grapes, like the day after, so June and July is going to be a hectic month for us, so that's why I keep things at times one for now, just for the time being. And uh, we'll go and get it sold, and I want to buy the Crone, was it the Crone Big M450 mower? I think it's Crone. But yeah, I have not used that mower yet on FS22, and I'm thinking this map is pretty much a good option for it. Of course, it's natural wind row it already, so technically we don't need a wind rower, but if you want to make hay in that, then might as well. Ooh, yeah, it's a bit tight here. So much equipment here. 
Oh, so you're still keeping the big Coloss tractor from now. Do we need it? No, not really, but... So we'll squeeze over here. And actually, is there anything in the second market? Nope. Always worth a check, but chances are it ain't gonna happen when you actually need it, so... So yeah, we made 50 grand from that. Not too bad after expenses. And if we go down to... Yeah, it is Chrome. Big M450. Uh, what tires do we want? Rush line or BKT's mission trailer boards? Again, I'm thinking, not sure what looks better. I'm torn between verse drawing. I like trail board, actually. Let's go with that. Doesn't matter in terms of what we need it for. No, no. <laughs> no, not really. But yeah, also in terms of what I said about our recap of crawl, which I completely ignored. So you got our grapes in all this air. We got our canola sugar be growing. Got our sunflower growing. We harvested 23 in the last stream of the stream before, so that needs to get prioritized. So let's go head over there. With our brand new case baiter and win the first setup. Let's get some straw bells on the way, folks, I think. And here we are, just approaching 23 here, and I'm thinking for this episode we can focus on planting poplars, I think. Plant poplars in this field here. Also, I did sell the old case harvester. That's because since did that live stream, we've got the tool height control mod by DD Mod Passion, I think. So, what I've done is just go and bought the bigger tool height control mod for the John Deere, and I sold the case because we don't need two tractors. Not two tractors, two harvesters. So, actually, whilst we're here. Which one's it? This one here. Just go to sell that, it's only five grand, so. And there we go, we are wind rowing. Is it the biggest wind rowing in the world? No, it ain't. And uh, we're doing 240 centimeter bail, so. This is gonna be looking good for us. Look at that. Doing two swaths in a go. Of course, when we use the John Deere, would we need this? Probably not. However, just having that widower function there is going to be handy regardless, just because... Here we here we've got. Can you any little swaths are like too big to be picked up with the beater itself? And there's a couple strips of wheat we've got here. How we've got that, I've just got no idea whatsoever, but... So we've got our first bell there popping out. And of course it'll it'll just trumble out when the second one is done, I think. Yep, there it goes. That's one down. And many more to go. Uh, with these bells, I think the best thing to do with them is just simply sell them. Or we could take them over to the manure factory and get manure. Because I have adjusted the production chains a little bit. Just in terms of what we're selling, what we're keeping. I was now with update 1.5. And the so safe fix to the padded limit. Of which I have got a video coming about that very soon. Hopefully I'll try to get this recorded today on Wednesday. As the same day as recording this. Aim is to get this out today. And... I've got some work to do on my review of Farm Sim 22. That's going to be quite a, I won't say a big video, but just a lot of research and script work. I've also been asking opinions about it from other members of the community, and there seems to be a consistent of what people like about Farm Sim 22 and what people personally don't like about FS22. Obviously, some of it is just down to people's opinions about it and all that, but. That video will come up very soon, hopefully sometime this week. I'll try to get it done today if I can. It is half past eleven now. Off work today, so I'll try to get 
these three videos recorded today, or at least started on them. But yeah, so anyways, we'll go and continue on with this, get us all done, and I'll see you folks in a moment. <laughs> So 20 bells there, that is 252,000 liters of straw here. And I think for now we could just go ahead and keep this. Should we keep it or should we sell it? I just want to see how much our animals got. So we have a look at our animals, our pigs. They're okay on straw at the moment. Cows are quite low. And how much straw do we have in storage in total? Ooh, 664,000 litres. Well, I'm guessing that's also including the production chain, so... If we head down... No, not to you. There we go here, so yeah, got 300,000 litres in there already, so... Yeah, we could work this in storage. I think this would fit into the multi fruit silo. The was it 10 million fruit in the silo we've got at the main farm? Then afterwards, we could go get the case, go back to the shop, and grab the mulcher. Get us filled with mulch, then finally we can plant some poplars. And then we can get a nice forage officer in a few months' time, and yeah, be happiest days. So where should we go? Yeah, the soil's up here, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, I can see it there in the corner. Next to our cellular 5G tower. <laughs> and just go, go wide, swinging. There we go. Not clip anything. Hopefully. That, we're all good. And I'm assuming it'll just take the bells with it. Yeah, there we go. And that is all the bells done. I got so much equipment here. <laughs> I forgot how much we've done with this series so far, but. And do we want to bring the. Could bring the cover down as well. We're just looking for a hitch on the back. Do you have a hitch on the back? I doubt it. No, you do not. So, oh, that's a bit of a bummer. But in theory, we actually don't really need the cover there. As long as we've got a drill that can do direct drilling, then it's not going to be an issue for us. Actually, what I could do is get the Massey. Get that hooked up to 
this dirt pile over here of 20,000 years of poplars and our planter it would actually be also useful for tree planting as well. Oh, the massing here, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. Got 24,000 years of pig food there, which we don't need at the moment. Small bunch of pig food for the pigs, and we'll give it to them tomorrow or at the end of the day, I think. Is there any of our drills direct? Drilling, I wonder. Yep, our planter is a dark drill, and. Ooh, so is our cedar. So we don't necessarily have to do cultivation, but I think we'll do it anyway still. Come on, hook on. Come on, hook up. So I'll get you. I was just said I was gonna get to also take the poplars and that over, but we need to do the cultivation first, so we'll go ahead and do that instead. And then we'll hop over here to the case. Come on, fold up. Should be on its way any time now. And there we go, sort off. No idea what the worker's doing, and it is crashed already. Of course, you're stuck. Is he even trying to move? <sighs> Can't do something. What's the old saying? If it can't be done right, do it yourself. Or whatever that saying is. <sighs> anyway, so we've got the mulcher here, and this is the fast mulcher, so we could do a bit of fast farming. The cultivation will not work. It ain't gonna take too long, I don't think. In terms with other stuff, do we need to tend to today? Like our animals are alright. You know the what's it? Cows could do with straws in it. Yeah, chickens are fine. Cows need straws. Certainly shifting. They are okay with TMR at the moment. Sheep are okay with food and water. And the pigs, yeah, they're all good. Obviously, as I said before in the last actual episode, I do want to actually grow pig food. However, the amount of money we've got at the moment, I'm not too worried if we don't actually, you know, make, make our own pig food. But with the US animal feed mod, which is quite possible because... Sorry for stopping again. Because at the moment, that's how we're making our TMR for the cow, so... It's down here somewhere, I think. Got so many production chains. So yeah, all it needs is corn, sunflower, canola, potatoes or sugar beet. So we've got the sugar beet growing. We've also got the potatoes and all that coming from the open greenhouse. Corn. Have we got corn planted at the moment? No, we do not. Oh yes we do, we are Master Field 13 over here. So yeah, some of this fields will be used just as corn corn, as of it, well most of it will perhaps be for silage. Actually, she's not ready to harvest yet? No it's not. Field 30 is ready to harvest and that's a contract that we can do potentially. What's that, barley? Yeah we can do that as well at some point. So many things to do, so what I'm going to do is do a quick jump cut off getting all the equipment over to 23. We'll get this done, and then I think that's where we can end off today, I think. And here we are, we've got all of our equipment here. We've got the 
cultivator, we've got the planter for the poplars, and yeah, let's also talk about these. I thought, oh, try to unhook the planter. I thought, yeah, just undo all the straps apart from this one here. These will stay on. This won't. However, it won't. So I thought, oh, try to be a bit clever. Undo all the straps, keep them on, and it will fall over. So, to us, do we need 2,000 litre pallets or 20,000 litres? I actually have no idea because I've actually never done poplars before. I know all my series on Owl's Dream there's poplars there, but we may do poplars on that series at some point. But, we're not. Yeah, I think with Al Chauvin is at the moment sort of trying to figure out where to go with the series. It's so, so many routes we could go down, and I will be using production chains on that series, as I've already said on a couple of occasions on that series. But yeah, it's just a few things like last episode we tried to use the tree harvester and that, and it didn't work out well for us basically. Did try the same thing here on Compson and I'm having the same issue, so I'm thinking it's a... don't think it's the equipment itself, because I've used the mod equipment, I've used base game equipment, and getting the exact same results, so... My thinking, it's simply down to the map, like... up to the map or not, they want the trees to be... Obviously, these trees are cut, but we could cut them down with a chainsaw, but with a tree harvester... Not so much. And now on Elm Creek, I use a tree harvester with no issues whatsoever. On New I think I use a tree harvester at some point in my testing map setup, but I can't recall for sure. But last thing, so obviously we want to cut some trees down, but that means we've got to plant some trees, and it'll take about two years to grow. And I think of doing <coughs> um, like oak trees, or I think it's like stone spruce or something. Let's have a look here. Which one is it? Tree saplings? Yeah, stone pine, that was it. So they seem to be the best trees to grow in terms of how much wood you get, or how much these are sort of wood. I might go into the sawmill on that. That is just based on one person's testing that I saw in the comment on. It was it? It was from close video actually, because I thought do a bit of research on how long does it take for trees to grow and generally it's about 24 to 27 30 months for them to grow depending on the saplings you're using and all that so I think was it there's different growth states depending on the tree they, they grow in certain phases some will grow each stage every four months five months some is like seven or nine months like three Growth three, uh, yeah, three growth stages of nine months each, so that's 27 months. And I think that's what the like oaks and stone pines are, so that's what I thought we'll go over those. And I suppose with a lot of this, we can sort of skip ahead certain parts and certain aspects if we need it at points. But I always like to try to do an episode per month, or at least in a month, do one episode, but. Like winter and that, that's probably not always possible with winter not doing much work. A lot of it will be just tending care to animals, so in the future episodes I'll be like, we're doing this, this and this, and caring for the animals. Skip ahead and do something else in the next month, but... But ma, yes, this motor is getting things done quickly. At 20 miles an hour. I am okay with this. We're missing a couple of bits here and there, I think. I want to make sure I've got everything mulched because always now we have the update to Precision Farming with patch 1.5 and all that. The Antonio Crow DLC has been updated, uh, which I finally bought the year one bundle. Didn't do it initially for X and Y reasons. Which I did regret if not doing, but it is what it is. But yeah, missing a couple of bits. We'll go over these bits at the end. But yeah, I have no issues with this whatsoever. I think I'm not sure what we could do for now is we could get a worker on this potentially. I was not doing it in a perfectly straight line, so it's going to miss some bits here and there, but you know what? I'm fine with that, so I'm not sure what we could do potentially is 
let's get the combine and we can take this down and do the contract but yeah right. it is a bit of a tight fit in here Oops. I just went driving there we go come on come on there we go That bump there. Oh, oh yeah, I see tree stump, isn't it? So we need to take this down to field 30, right? Yeah, bottom left corner. So when we come out of here, we'll turn left, and I think we'll go straight down round 26 and 36. Actually, no, we'll head straight down between field 16 and 29, that little junction there. Head back down and we'll go to the south end of field 30. That's the dust plan at least. Whether or not it'll come to fruition is a totally different matter. It depends on how, like for example, this, how can we can get out of the yard. Okay, so gently does it. Let's put our beacons on. Don't clip the gate. That's it. And there we go. But I speak like Hong Kong, so now, like, in general, like with British farming in general, you won't see many of this like, going down the road, especially these tight lanes like this. I think the biggest you'll see is like the class Exarian harvesters and that. So, slight figures are slightly smaller than this. Definitely not as wide, so. But again, like obviously with America now, you sort of go as big as you want, depending on the area you're in. Whilst with British farming, yes, we would love to have big, big old equipment, I would assume, but that's not always possible. You're always limited down to where you're working. Yeah, we've still got the headers, I'm pretty sure that's still attached because we'll get it down to the field. I thought, oh, here we are. Everything's all ready, and realise we've actually knocked the head off somewhere. This is why I sold the 60 foot header a while back because, yeah, it involved a lot of, so to say, cheating, cutting through the hedges and that. But, yes, yeah, so we'll, I think this is as big as we'll ever go here. And uh, where do we want to go? No, we don't get a head straight down here because there's no way we're making that sharp of a turn in this. Oh, so if the camera fixes it into the straight position. There we go. So yeah, we head down to field 30. And then let me focus here on how we'll get things set up. And here we are at the field. And what I've done is the motion's done. So I've got the course here on the way. I've did one headland on field 23, right? Yep, 23. So I've got the worker doing that, so we'll go and potentially go ahead and plant that at some point very soon. So like similar to this build, I'll get the worker doing this, so I'll do like two headlands. And then sort of be done with it. Didn't mean to detach the header. I want to disable draw straw swathing because there's no point for it. Also unfold the harvester. Is unfolded. <laughs> there we go. And now we're fast farming. Look at the speed! Oh, I've really so missed this mod. The potential uses on other series, but I won't go like full speed. I'll go like probably like six miles an hour. I'll go like eight or nine miles an hour, maybe ten at most. But man, look at that barley thin up very quick. This is why now I do it by doing harvesting contracts because they wouldn't take as long. Because we're going literally three times the speed. Or should I like three and a half times the speed of what we'd be doing it normally, anyways. Imagine like all straw as well, just like just stopping randomly and just having a massive pile of straw. And we're already at 45% capacity, so 
this isn't going to take too long, I think. So yeah. How big is this field? Yeah, pretty big. That's the thing, I thought about getting another field at some point, but I think chances are I'll get something like field 29 and I get out as a proper full on grass field. Have a little shed there for my equipment, for my size wrapper and all that, but I don't think I'll be using bunker silos. And we are already close to full. I thought we could have done one pass and be done. Wait, because I parked the trailer initially at the road there, but nope. It does not seem like we'll be able to do that, folks. Alright, so it fills up as important, it doesn't think that the delay effect of it going up. 98, 99, 100%. And we're full within seconds, well, within like a minute or two. So now we'll hop over to the truck. There we go. The thing is, it's got the unreal capacity. So our rides will be unloading this very often, and we'll take this to the shop. So yeah, I think what I'll do is, I will sort of continue on with this, off camera, get a couple of headlands done, and then bring you folks back once the cultivation's done, and when we're ready to start actually planting. Planting the poplar, and it'll be interesting how that goes. I know it's going to take a long time, I think. I think overall's going to be worth it. So that is all of it done. We've done all the cultivation. We've done half of the contract already on field 30. I've got the worker stop for now because I actually didn't realise with the tool height control mod, in comparison to 19, actually the workers turn around and actually got to full speed because in 19 with the tool height control mod, at least on PlayStation and on consoles, we've always had an issue off where they can do one part of it at full speed potentially, but they wouldn't be able to turn around. But Nope, oh, in 22 they actually turn around and go at full speed. Or whatever you set the cruise control to. So in theory, we just start to plant the poplars. There we go. And this is going to take some time, I think. I didn't quite plan this. This is going to take some time, I think. Yeah, perhaps the best thing to do is... What, perhaps go... I'm not sure what the best plan would be. Would it go around? I'll just do the headlands and that. But do I trust a worker doing this? That's the thing. Do I trust an AI worker to take care of this? But yeah, it's going to take some time to do, but actually, to us, I don't mind like, doing this like long farming work. Actually, I don't mind it, it's just like torching out, sound of the engines, sound of the scenery, and stuck the map as well, and just take it all in. And we've already used five times, so we could definitely use a few of these boxes. Maybe even more of them, maybe all of them, I do not know, to be honest. I think the plan would be to get the headlands done, and then I think we'll get a worker herself on this, I think. Yeah, so I'll give it a chance, see what workers do, see how far apart they do, because I do want to get quite close together, I think. Actually, to be honest, I should know this will take some time, not just because of the speed and that, just because of see Mr. CP doing this on, what map was it, um, Hills of Italia on 90. Towards the end of this series, on there, I'll call him to him poppers and that. Poppers and poppies. For us, we're just planting popper. <laughs> that in the poppers. Bit of a time twister there. And then soon enough, we'll be popping poppers when we've got the forge harvest them. I would perhaps do wood chip bells, but obviously, I've seen dagger wings 
I've tried to do it and he had some issues of selling wood chip bells. Whether we'll have the same issues, I do know, but I'm not going to risk it. So what I'm going to just do is four hours it and there is a mod out there. Uh, where is it to perhaps be under four headers, I think. Uh, where is it to? There we go, these are POP 6X, so 6 meter working width. Proper header compared to like a 2 or 3 meter, so. But yeah, I think we'll actually use. Actually, to be honest, do I even think 10 is going to be enough? That's a good question as well. But yeah, also, also, also another news now with the channel, as of recording this, is actually getting quite late into the evening now because I had to go into work. Just to, well, hopefully have a little meeting work today, but I didn't come to any fruition, so that was two hours of my time wasted. But yeah, I got back, and actually I've learned that actually my channel now is actually monetized. Obviously I had the 4,000 watch hours for some time, as I mentioned before. I think I've had it for about over a month now, I've had like over 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months, but for some reason it took YouTube in the monetization page to acknowledge this, but yeah, mate, so I made the obviously Google AdSense account, I've applied, and it says it's going to take up to a month for, well, up to a week for Google to approve the AdSense, which only took two, much a day and a half, two days for it to be approved. And for actually applying for the YouTube partnership program to be monetized, actually it only took me, what? Well, it only took it, not me, it took, what, half a week or so to do it, a couple of days after, yeah, a few days after, yeah, about three days, I think, the yeah, after to do what has to proof, so about... So yeah, within a week of actually applying for monetization, I've got monetized, so... Happy days, so from this video, and other videos, I've enabled this on other, other videos on the channel, so you may see some ads in that, and... Um, oh, missing bits already. Well, there are any little bits I've missed at the end, but... So yeah, you start to see some ads now, I'm not already seen as before, and I'm not use ad blockers or not, it's up to you. But yeah, so we're in the monetization stage. Obviously, you're gonna make any big bucks straight away. I think, I think that's how I checked, or at least for what's in America, you get five bucks for every thousand views, so yeah, I need to work on this channel a bit. I think I do have some plans for the channel, with some diverse content perhaps doing. Turns with in end of June. Man, I've got time off, booked off work. Obviously, like I said before, I was going to do a personal vlog of going to a concert. That will be happening. Whether or not it gets demonetized, because it's going to see a band live. Hopefully, it doesn't get demonetized. I really hope it doesn't, but if it is, it is. I'll still keep it up, perhaps. But, but yeah, also, I bought F122. Oh, sorry, yeah, F122, not F1 2022. And yeah, I'm going to do a nice few videos on that channel. I'm going to do a My Team Career Mode Let's Play series on that. I have tried done it before, but just haven't really got nowhere to it after the second season. I am a big Formula 1 fan as well, but yes, just never got my teeth sunk into it. Never got to breaking point with F1 2021. But yeah, so I think. We do now. In June, I bought the premium edition, so we've got three days of early access. And also, what is this? Well, I think, yeah, I should might return to a bit of Snow Runner. Haven't done that for some time. Well, how are we doing so far? Not too bad. We're getting on the edges. But this is going to take some time, I think. So. I think the best thing to do is get this done in a time lapse. I'll set time so back to times one for now. I did turn it down to 0.5 hours just to do bits off camera, look into the marketplace. And just what valuable what we potentially get. But yeah, literally, I'll sit here just trodden along, planting my poplars, and I'll be a happy man doing it. Now uh, we've done one headland, and that is, let's say, about 35% so I think I'm actually going to need more and it's starting to rain as well so that's going to be 
Will it be another factor? Well, it would be a factor, but a bit of thunderstorm somewhere, but so it is headland number one done. I will turn the lights on because we are starting to lose a bit of daylight. So hopefully this should work like this. It seems to. We're still missing strips and that, so... Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but... I'll find a way to get this done. And I think I'll see folks in quite a bit when we get this done, I think. Because it's going to take some time, I think. See what we've done is we caught and we decided to release a second to answer just to speed things up. That's where we've been going on for an over of hour in real time. Looked it up to John Deere and it seems to be doing well. I thought we'll put narrows on it, perhaps it's the gap in difference is just because of the tractor, but nope. That's not seem to be the case, so what I've tried to do is bits here, I've tried to get it in together by doing that. What we do is go to the back of here, is simply sort the worker in the middle, and then when they go on to the next one, the next, next one, next one, next one, next one. Obviously, it's not really consistent, and in terms of the number of actual pads we've used, we pretty much used 10. I think we've got one more left somewhere. Is it down here? 
I swear there's one more left. Oh, there it is there. Got one more pallet left over. And unfortunately, I can't buy any more pallets. Because if we go to the shop, go to pallets. Not just this proper single pallets, because I want... Uh, which one is it? No, it's not under this wall pallets. Which I will get to in a minute. There we go here. Too many pallets. Can't even buy a single pallet. And I'm not sure as to why. We do have the tight handler here. We've got some pallets here. So we've got... What's this? So one, two... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let me know, yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, perhaps I'll have like further so pants here, but surely this ain't gonna solve it all. We've got some furniture, we've got some medicine in that. Now I'll head over here because I want to send this honey over to the cereal factory. There is also some sugar now about, I am aware of, which we'll go and pick up at some point. But I want to see over here what pants we've got spawned up over here. Oh, that's going to tip over. Nope, it's going to beach. Almost. But also what we need for the cereal factory is chocolate, so... Actually, I don't think we've even sold cereal yet, have we? No, no, I don't think so, we have. So, it needs chocolate, and the next thing we need is like the likes of raisins and that, so... I'll always even have raisins very soon from the grapes, when we're going to process that, hopefully in the next month or two. And this is why I hate swivel axle traders. Yeah, they're good at manoeuvring around, but they tend to get themselves stuck easily and a nightmare to reverse. So money's just gone up a little bit. That's what I didn't really pay attention, pay attention to how much it's gone up. Well, it's up about 40 grand or so. But no, so packs went up, so we picked up all the packs over here. So in theory, Actually, how much honey we've got in terms of pallets? So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 14 pallets of honey. So, in theory, we should be able to buy eight more, well, 14 more pallets once it's all sold. Because the new limit is what's supposed to be now, what, 75 on the PS4? Which is still stupidly way too low. I get what Giants is trying to do with the fix, but I've got no saying off. Oh, don't fix an issue that doesn't need fixing. And the pat limit is one loose. Oh, and I've broken. So we've clipped. There we go. It's the official way around, of course, saying. I do have a nice little walk through just around the corner. Oh, there's some cereal. So we've got one, two, four, six, eight pads off. So the honey's going in. There we go, happy days. So we go now. So in theory should be able to buy more pallets, right? That's 14 gone. Surely that should solve the issue by now. You know what you would think at least? So if go and say buy still too many pallets. How in the frick is that possible? It's all 14 pallets, so we should be able to uh, and these aren't even liftable as well. For some reason, I've got the liftable pack mod installed. I'm pretty sure some of these must have spawned after we enabled it, but you know what? At this point, I don't know what to do. And uh, looks like we've got a bit of a send off here. 
After you, sir. But yeah, so this is pretty much done, and until we can get more pallets than that, it's pretty much as much as we can do. We've got one more pallet off, of course, off poplars, but that ain't gonna last too, all that too long. And on that note, on our little disappointment, this is where we're gonna end it today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope everyone else has a day. But for now, this is me, Farmer, and Voice Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.